would call this a pose move. Pose moves are the sort of thing where you're actually holding it for longer. So I feel like, and uh, <laughs> what's very normal as a performer is you get on the stage and you think that things are going a lot slower than they are because you're the center of attention. So uh, I would actually get into the bus on count a little longer. So uh, technically you'd be standing like this, right? I would get in, okay now, you get in, you wrap it up, you get in, then you can look at your audience and then do your back buzz saw. Hold it one, two, three, four, five. Come back to standing, sync it up, tap, go the other way, then come down, and then you can almost like roll it up your body like this and then exit. That's where you're adding the elements of performance to it. It's not, I mean, anybody can stand there and spin the two circles ultimately, really. What, what makes it a performance is you hamming it up and putting the energy into it that performs the move, if that makes sense. So I do it longer and then wait, like when you're in your buzz, when you're in your back bend here, come back to normal, look at your audience, tap, change, and then do the other part of it. There's a, an element of performance where you can be really coy. You're doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it. You back bend, you back bend, you back bend. Hey audience, woohoo! Come back, then tap it. So you wanna actually wait even a little bit longer and get to vertical before you come from here, right? You're not really getting back to this horizontal position to do your tap. And I think you'll feel more confident if you're here doing the tap than if you're here doing the tap. Be for a lot of reasons, one of them being when you're looking up like this, your balance is not as stable. So I would make sure you take at least one glance when it's an underhand and at least one glance when it's an overhand. This is where you're really performing for the audience. This is where you're not executing anymore. This is actually the birth of you as an artist.